All right, so the draw for Monte Carlo, the official, well, the unofficial official start of the clay court season, especially for the men, the Master 1000 event, huge event to kick off the clay court season in 2023. Some big names are playing. We've got the return of Djokovic. We also have some big names not playing. Let's go to the withdrawal list to start. All right, so here is the withdrawal list. You can see there, Carlos Alcaraz, he's out. Ali Asim is also out. Nadal, also pulling out. Nishioka is also out. Chapo, Busta, Monfils, Paul, and also Sebastian Corda, the latest to withdraw. So some big names not playing, especially Alcaraz, Nadal, and FAA. Some of the biggest names on clay. Those guys played very well on clay last year. Fortunately, won't be starting the season with the rest of them. But let's go to the players that are playing, starting at the top of the draw. Okay, so the 16 seeds in this one. Top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic, back as world number one. He's the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Nakashima or McDonald in the second round. But then we've got the wild card, uh, Vasharot. No, I butchered that name. Uh, he plays a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on a Kecmanovic on the number 16 seed, Musetti in the second round. Then we've got the number 10 seed, Hercatch, taking on Jera. That's a tough match for Hercatch. Jera's been in some form on play back in February. Winner of that will play either Baez or Draper in the second round. That's a fun match as well. Schwartzman will take on Goffin. Winner will play the number 7 seed, Sinner, after he gets a bye in the first round. So that quarter of this draw is very interesting. Not so much the top part for Djokovic. I think he's got a manageable section, but there's a lot of good Argentinian clay court players, including Baez, Schwartzman, of course, and then you've got to put in Hercatch and Sinner, who aren't too bad on clay as well. Very interesting section of the draw you think Djokovic makes it through to play Sinner based on form but man, that's a that's a that's a tough section I think Sinner's got a very tough draw uh for sure and Djokovic got a nice start and then you know as he works his way into the tournament uh should be able to get a better draw as it goes on maybe he doesn't even have to play Sinner because guys like Schwartzman or Baez and they can cause upsets all right let's go to the next section of the draw now okay Medvedev number three seed he gets a buy in the first round winner of that match he will play the winner of a qualifier or Sinego in the second round Sinego's a tough match especially with this crowd because they do love the Italians in Monte Carlo. Uh, then you got Karin, uh, then you got Batista Agu taking on Ema. Winner of that match will take on either Bublik or the number 13 seed Zverev in the second round. Very interesting section with Zverev and Medvedev. Possible third round matchup, but I don't know. I mean, do they both make it to the third round? That is the question. Of course, Medi's clay court tennis is a little bit weird at times. Uh, then you got Nori taking on Serendolo, the number 11 seed Nori. That's very tough for Nori. Winner of that match will take on either Cressy or Berrettini in the second round, so it doesn't get any easier. Then you got Team versus Gasquet, Battle of the One Handers. We love that. Winner of that plays the number six seed Runa in the second round. So some really interesting matches up there. Uh, Runa's got a nice draw. You know, Team and Gasquet are very good clay quarters, but, you know, not great at the moment. I mean, Team's obviously still not as confident as you used to be. Gasquet is almost 37 uh, or 38, so he's really getting on. So you think Runa would be able to manage this draw, especially maybe Berrettini be a tough third round. Uh, then Medvedev and Zverev, you know, I, I think Runa would like this draw. But again, very interesting matchups potentially in those next couple of rounds. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Djokovic section in the semifinal. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw, the top quarter of the bottom half. You can see there Rublev, number five seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Huzla or Munar in the second round. Uh, then we've got Evans taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either Fakina or Hashinov, the number nine seed. And remember, Davidovic and Fakina beat Djokovic last year, made it to the final, lost to Sidney Pass in the final of Monte Carlo last year. Then you got Diminor, the number 14 seed, taking on Andy Murray. Very, very tricky first round for Diminor. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Ramos Vinoles. Another one of those clay court players in February that he was playing well. You got to watch out for him. Then you got Van der Zandrup taking on a qualifier. Winner of that plays number four seed, Casper Ruud. I think Ruud's got a nice draw. I think he could make the quarterfinals is a good chance. He's got a nice draw. You know, if he plays Murray, I think he back himself. If he plays Diminor, I think he back himself. Uh, if he plays Rublev in the quarterfinals, I think Rude would back himself. So I think Rude's got a pretty good draw there. Bottom section of the draw, Taylor Fritz, number 8C, gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Vavrenka or Grigspor in the second round. So Stan versus Taylor, second round. That's a tough matchup. Then you got Shelton taking on Dimitrov. Winner of that match takes on either Lehechka or the number 12C, Tiafo. Then you got Chorich, number 15C, taking on Jarry. Again, another player who played well back in uh, February. Um, won a title actually back on the clay in Feb in Chile. So keep an eye on Jerry. Winner of that match will take on a qualifier because we've got two qualies going at it. Then you've got Bonzi taking on Morales. Another guy, Morales, who played well on the clay back in February. Winner of that match will take on the number two, City Pass. Uh, the defending champion. Two-time defending champion. So Morales, City Pass. Very tricky second round match for City Pass, especially if that shoulder's still hurting him. So, uh, and also remember, this section of the draw will take on the Rude Rublev section of the draw. 
course, a City Pass versus Rube Level Rude. Semi-final, if you're going to base it on the seeds. But interesting draw. Let me know in the chat or in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who's got the worst draw? I feel like it's Sinner. I feel, I feel like Sinner's draw looks really tough. I think Rude's got a very nice draw. Djokovic definitely has a nice draw. But then again, you can put Djokovic pretty much anywhere in the draw and you can make an argument to be, you know, easy. Uh, City Pass's draw is manageable if you can avoid some guys. But, uh, man, it's an interesting draw. Is City Pass going to go for a three-peat? Is Medvedev going to surprise? Because Medi did make the semi-finals back in 2019, beating Djokovic along the way. Is this Medi's time to shine on the clay? Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?